Welcome everybody. This is another edition of the Don't Tell Me Show Me series for my trading methodology which I call superstructure trading. And before we start, let me show you the disclaimer. Trading is inherently risky. Trade only with money you can risk. Uh, we are not giving trading recommendation, re recommendations and everything here is copy written. Okay. My name is Ken W. Chow. Again, good morning. Hello, wherever, wherever you are. And <clears throat> we're going to talk about how super trading this week in terms of the markets that I look at, which is the E-mini S&P, gold, and crude oil. Okay. Now, I will show you this week's trades in a little bit in terms of applying the tools from the book, okay? Now, let me first go over the same questions that I get all the time. What size chart should I trade? Do I trade the 10-minute, the 5-minute, or the 15-minute chart? My favorite is the 3-minute, Ken. Do you trade that? The answer is all of the above. What that means is <clears throat> I'm concerned with a chart pattern. The pattern can come on a one-minute chart, which I'll show you in a little while, or it can show up in a 10-minute chart. The one-minute chart would last maybe 10 or 15 minutes or five minutes, the, the trade, that is. The 15-minute chart can last one or two days, maybe the rest of the day, I should say, okay, because each bar is one minute. It is a pattern that I'm after, and I'm resizing my charts to find this pattern, okay? Now, people also ask me, okay, how do, you, how do you use all the charts at the same time? Well, I look at the bigger chart first. This gives me the general bias of the market. Okay, should I be leaning long or short? Again, I'll show you the, the pre-market charts that I make for some of my subscribers, what that means. And then later on, I zoom in to see where is the zone that I should be entering. Okay. Now, again, when I say enter, entering a trade, entering a trade can come in one of two uh, forms. <clears throat> it could be, let's say I'm going long. I can buy on a pullback, which is more safer. I like that better. Or you can buy on a breakout. When it breaks above that high, I'm going in. Okay? Both of those are legitimate uh, type of thinking, but they both have their place in market because certain market conditions would require you to do one versus the other, okay? So again, that is from the, the, the medium size chart, okay? Again, the bigger chart tells you which way I should be leaning. The medium size chart tells you, okay, here's what I want to do. And then on a small chart, you want to confirm and adjust, okay? Zoom in on a smaller chart, having that zone. Do I want to get in here? No, how about two ticks higher here, okay? Then, and you can adjust and see more confirmation using a smaller chart. Now, this approach will enhance your existing trading methodology. You guys may have a favorite trading system right now using different tools. I don't use them, but you can use uh, Bollinger Bands or <clears throat> I have a lady who does um, moving averages with what I have here using a $10,000 account. She makes about $1,500 to $1,800 a day, almost every day, using what I show you right here in combination with her you know, security blanket tools, which are the moving averages. That's fine. Or you can use this as a standalone trading system, which is what I use. Okay. Now, this is based on chart patterns. Okay. What are some of the chart patterns? Well, let's say you have an up move here. You have a pullback. And then you have an upward move again. This is an up up trending pattern. High lows, higher high. Green bars are the up moves, and the pullback is the red bar. Okay. Then you might have another uh, pullback. Okay. And then following that, you might have another thrust. This looks like the Elliott wave, isn't it? This has some. Um, the spirit behind it is Elliott wave, although I'm not going to call it Elliott wave. It'll, it's a lot more detailed than that. And I will show you how so in terms of using this to determine whether I should be going long or short and whether I should be doing a breakout trade or 
buying on pullback or shorting on pullback okay so this is an uptrend and wait a minute so is this one this is also an uptrend higher lows higher highs and so is this one Th these are the differences that I want to show you as far as how to uh, adjust your strategy again both of these are up moves but in terms of what I call trend strength into the upside they're different let me go over what the components of those patterns are. It is a measure move. It's an AB equals CD type of thing. Now, in the real world, CD does not always equal to AB. A lot of times, CD could be a lot bigger than AB. Okay, but using this as a general rule, we want to start here. Okay, this is called the measure move, like I said, because it's measured. But the key point behind the measure move is point C. <laughs> point C is very, very important. That shows you the BC pullback shows you the depth of the pullback, which will influence trend strength. Okay, now trend strength is very very important. Trend strength is not volume. It is not indicator reading. It is simply point C. It is simply a series of point Cs. Okay, of many many measure moves stacked, you know, strung together. The depth of point C will give you pulling power, or It'll give you power to thrust in the same direction. It is very simple. Again, use whatever you have right now to add this to your your arsenal. Your trading should improve because it gives you a better chance to get in, where to get in, where to get out. Okay. <clears throat> also works down going south, of course, in a downtrend. Here it is. Okay. But there's a difference between this downtrend and this downtrend. Okay. This is a downtrend, lower highs, lower lows. And so is this. What's the difference? Well, in this downtrend, the first retracement up is deep. The second retracement up is also deep. This is known as a downtrend, yes, but a weak downtrend. In a situation where you have a weak downtrend, somewhere down here, you will have a bounce. All right? Let's go back to this downtrend. <clears throat> How is the bounce the first time around? It is what I call shallow. Now, what's shallow and what's deep? The ballpark zone is a 50%, okay? It's obviously less than 50%, or even at 50%, 50 I'll call that shallow. If it's more than 50%, again, 60, 70, 80% is considered deep. That's a shallow retracement going down. And what is the significance of that? We have a downtrend. It's a strong downtrend. Now, if you have it, if you have another one following it, okay, and this another one is also shallow, the downtrend is still intact. Now, are we going to buy it somewhere down here? Well, with a strong downtrend, my thinking is that it may work its way down even more. So in this case, if you want to do a breakout of some sort, again, either bullishly or bearishly, <coughs> this is the type of pattern where you want to do that in, okay? Again, this works in all markets and all time frames. It is effective in day trading, which, I, which is what I use, swing trading, which is what I sometimes do, carry it over, or longer-term position trading, okay? <coughs> now, another thing that we want to do is using powerful Fibonacci ratios. Now we want to simplify these ratios, okay? Because it gets confusing as to which Fibonacci ratios to use, okay? A lot of people know that there's a whole series of them, 38%, 61.8, 78.6%. .6%. The extensions are 127, the 1.618, the 2.618. How about the 4.618? I like to use the 261 and especially the 461. These are what I call extreme extension. Okay, <laughs> these extensions have gone the distance, especially when you're coming off of a deep point C measure move pattern. Okay, now these two are very powerful. As you mix and match with these, as I show in the book, then you can pick highs and lows safely. Okay, so these are the two that we have. Okay. 
Let me show you the scenarios <clears throat> in terms of what I like. This was earlier in the month. The first scenario in terms of buying it, again, this is called confirmation, which is step three, is to have, in this case, many, many 461s off of deep retracements. Okay, now what are the deep retracements? These are the deep retracements. Okay, this is deep, 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 and deep. By the time it stretches down over here, then you have a bunch of extensions off of these BCs. I threw in a few of them here. This is a 30-minute chart. Okay, you can grind it down to a five and a one-minute chart, and somewhere down here, where a bunch of 461s are colliding, you should be able to buy it for a nice pull that last two days. Oh, by the way, after it bottomed out over here. Can you see the measure move going up? Can you see the depth of point C as it makes a move to the upside? How deep is point C as it pulls back here? How about the one following it? How about this point C? Shallow, shallow. I'll call this little A, little B, and little C. When you have shallow and shallow, then this move is on its way. This is called confirmation over here. But you, can, you can buy it somewhere down here, and as you see it going off shallow, shallow, you know the upward bias is there. In other words, coming off the highs, you got deep, deep, and deep. Okay? Coming off the lows, you got shallow, shallow, shallow. Well, which way is the wind blowing? It is dropping reluctantly, if you will, but it wants to go up in a hurry. The downtrend is weak. The uptrend is strong. So you can buy it here or you can do a breakout above here as we scoop back up. If this is somewhat reminiscent of an upside down head and shoulders, that's what head and shoulders are. But I'm giving it in more uh, detail. Okay, so this is basically one scenario. The second scenario <clears throat> for a possible bounce, let's say at the 78% area or a retest of this low, whichever one you I like the 78% retracement out of all the retracements of this range. The second scenario is that, again, slowing down of trend means a lot of deep, choppy, chop, chop. HHLL means higher, high, lower, low. And this is where it's chopping, and you have a lot of deep retracements right around here. This is telling you that this drop into this zone here, to not, to not go below, or you can double bottom this low here. I'll show you that in today's S&P charts. This type of pattern, choppy chop, 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 chop here, tells you that it doesn't want to go down. It does not want to go down. Okay? You can buy here at a 78%. Or you can see this as a secondary entry, if you will, as a breakout. Okay? Now, here's point C. Okay? We just came off of a bunch of deeps as we're dropping. Deep, deep, and deep. Okay? But on the way up, we have shallow at point C. Once we break above point B, you can buy it there for a lot more move. This is a crude oil, okay? So you can buy it here, primary entry, picking a low as it's dropping gently into this zone here. Otherwise, it might zoom right past, okay? You don't want to be catching a falling knife. Or you can buy it on a breakout when it clears here, which naturally will clear the high as well, and boom, you're on your way. So you can do a breakout as a little later. You're catching the middle part of the move versus the beginning part of the move. Or you can buy on pullback if it's pulling back up the proper way. Again, you don't want to be catching a falling knife. So the second scenario is many, many deeps. This is called the slowing down of trend. I just showed you that in the diagram form, right? Okay, let's revisit this situation here. We did this one a couple of weeks ago. In fact, this was done on the 24th of October. You can see the date way up here. Okay, this thing starts dropping here. There was a lot of 461s up here. Okay, this is the probable route. And let's see what happened just yesterday, Friday. Look at this. It came down already. I shown the probable route coming down to around 1760. In term, this was, uh, again, a couple of weeks ago. But the reality is that right here, 1755. And by the way, you can see the shallow retracement right here right there. These retracements are less than half of this downward move, showing us a strong downtrend still intact.
Make sense? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go over this week's uh, charts. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go over... Here, here's gold, okay? This is just a 15-minute chart of gold. Now, what I'm saying is this. There are several way, ways to skin the cat, but the first thing to do is to see, again, shallows or deeps. This is telling you that you can think about you know, a move, a, a trade in one direction or the other. By the way, what is this retracement looking like? Deep, isn't it? Deep, deep, and deep. These are all deep retracements coming down. They look like this. This means it doesn't want to come down. This is dropping down against this up move. This is gold, okay, on Thursday. So this up move against this down move, well, let's think about that same theme, all right? And what's the theme again? The retracement at point C. Where's my point C's? Well, here is off of this low here, A, B, C. Now, is that a deep or shallow retracement at point C? Notice how you can do a breakout right above here to go long if you want to. Okay, so coming off this low is coming off with a shallow retracement. By the way, the drop here is what? Deep or shallow? Deep. So you have this deep dropping off the highs as we're coming. You know, the downward measure moves show deep point C. But the upward measure move shows shallow. You can do a breakout above B and make this b bounce here. Okay, with that type of theme, this is also shallow. Shallow means less than a 50% pull off this previous leg. So again, the the theme or the the bias is the upside. Now, as you're dropping here, deep, 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 somewhere on on this drop here, you can buy this low. Well, wh where are you going to buy it? Well, if you're on a 15-minute chart, you can zoom down to a smaller 5-minute chart and look for 461 extensions off of some of these smaller guys that you can't see over here. So when you buy it here, you make this move up. Again, deep over here. Okay. This one got a little shallower here. Okay. But around over here, this is not as good of a, of a buy over here. Okay. But you can, again, see how the shallow, here's a shallow or medium shallow right at 50%. This gives you an idea to know which way to lean. Should I be leaning long or short? This is, uh, again, gold. All right. Let me uh, show you some of the uh, before uh, this week's trade. Let me show you some of this week's trade in, uh, in the S&P. <coughs> These are charts that I made before the um, the open I'm in California here so this was uh, on the 14th Thursday at 534 remember 630 my time is when the market opened what I have here almost an hour before the open is to see the bias in terms of the S&P the bias is still bullish Possible buy on pullback. Why is it bullish? This pullback here is less than 50% before the move up. This is also skewed to the right, which I'm not going to cover right now. But those of you who have my book, you guys know what that is. So from here, we moved up very quickly above this high. So I'm in the bullish thinking mode on the 60-minute chart. All right? Zooming down to the 15-minute chart off of this low, Look at this, shallow, shallow. By the way, you can actually do a breakout above this high or above this high because you have shallow, shallow. Now, this is also shallow, but notice how we got a little deeper over here, right? See that? These are not as shallow, these pull back up here. So I'm going to look for, I'm not going to go long anymore up here, but right here at 5.37 in the morning, yes, I wake up that early, I'm looking to buy on pullback. Look for extensions down. I'm going to see how they extend down, 461 and so forth, to buy on a pullback. By the way, you can see how this thing was behaving before this big up move to the upside. 
How deep is this retracement? About 75%. How about this one here? 78%? How about this one here? Maybe 85%? This one is also about 85-90%. This has a lot of deep, 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 this doesn't want to come down. It's coming down because it's lower highs, lower lows, but it really doesn't want to do that. Once this thing happens, you can do a breakout right above there with a stop below there. If you're able to ride out another measure move, oh, my God, another shallow here? Point C, good. Okay. Now, as you see it, shallow, but then you get deeper, deeper, deeper. Okay, this is time for a little pullback. This upward move may be coming for a pause. Okay, so you don't have to pick a low over here. You can do a breakout here because the theme is there in terms of the deeps coming off the highs. This is the high, gently, if you will, and then strong burst of the upside with such a strong burst. And you can see that if you got in at, uh, you know, 12, I'm sorry, sorry, 1765 uh, or so, there's a good 10, 15 points at least, <clears throat> up to 20 points almost of move to the upside in the S&P. This is called trend strength. The trend strength coming down, not much. It's getting weaker and weaker to get ready to go the other way. And the other way is going up very, very strong right here. This is all chart pattern. I'm not looking at volume or anything else. So as we burst to the upside, you can do a breakout here with a stop below there. Okay. Now notice how the shallower it is, the smaller the risk. If this thing was a deep retracement like this, you have to put a stop below here. Yikes, it's a more risky situation because if you, once you get stopped out, you'd be way down here. But because it's very, very shallow, number one, the uptrend is very, very strong. Now, why is that? Because the upward trend is the bulls, okay? This downward temporary pullback are the bears. The bears are so weak, it was un they're not able to push it down halfway even. Over here again, the bears are pushing it down. Well, they're not really bears. I would just call that profit taking. Then the bulls kick in right again to take out this high off of a shallow retracement. Keep going, right? Now, it broke above this high over here, right? But instead of doing this, it pulled back a little bit and deeper, deeper. Okay, now, now you know this uptrend is coming to a pause, okay, if you were trading the previous day. But today, I'm not today meaning, you know, the 14th. Here is what we're looking at, pre-market. Okay, let's see what happens after, afterwards, okay? That's the before shot. Here it is. Here's a pullback, and it went off the chart. This pullback have a bunch of 461 extensions down to this low. And then it popped to the upside. Not only that, off of this high over here, we have deep, medium, deep, deep. Deep is coming off the high here to a pullback where it extends down to 461 and boom, new highs. Now let's see, uh, this was Thursday the 14th. Let's about, about yesterday, <coughs> yesterday on the 15th. Again, 544, 45 minutes before the open, I say to my students and to people who are subscribing to this chart, possible buy at this 70%. Now again, we're coming off of deeps here. We haven't opened yet. But here's a 461, a 261. I'm, I'm projecting a downward move here to bounce up 45 minutes before the open. So I'm looking to buy at where? 1788 and a half, 1789, Around here is to buy to move back up. By the way, chart number one basically says we're still bullish. Okay? So let's see what happens. This is the before shot. And here's the after shot. Again, these are the same numbers that I had previously, right? The 261, the 461. Now, why do I use a 2 and a 4? This is just to have a couple of preliminary extensions to go along with a 78% for a possible buy. So, in the end, it came down to 1788 even on the E-mini S&P here. Chopped it a few times, double bottomed it, and boom, took off to new highs towards the end of the day. But I want to point out this pattern to you, okay? I want to point out this pattern Again, how deep is this retracement here? This is shallow, okay? How about this? this that's a deep retracement. That's a deep retracement. Even deeper, this is a zone where it cannot go below. Now, just not just because of this deep and stuff here locally on the five-minute chart, but the overall bias on the larger chart is asking you to lean to the upside. So you're buying on pullback, okay? 
but it's important to look for that shallow right there. Let me show you. Okay, I actually labeled it uh, shallow. See that? Shallow here deeps off the highs. So the the, the 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 setting was there to buy on pullback, both on the five minute chart and also the previous bigger sixty minute chart, thirty minute chart that lasts the last couple of days within you know Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday coming into the week. All right. So these before and after charts will give you a heads up as to which where the where's the zone that I'm looking at. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let me let me go over this one again. This guy right here. This is Thursday. Okay. This pullback. Buying around 1778. What was that zone? Can we actually calculate that zone? Let me take a look at that again for you. Uh, around here in my chart. This is AT chart. Actually, Sierra charts free by my broker. This is the. Uh, I'm going to go back to uh, Thursday to show you. Here's Thursday's chart. Okay, again, 1778 was a was a area that you want to go along on, right? I'm just throwing in a few extensions here for you guys. Okay, and notice how we have some deep choppy chop chop into that zone. Okay. By throwing in some of these extensions, you can kind of see the average where, where that general zone would be. The dominance is a double top. We have a couple of extensions here. Here are all the 461s. If you take your calculator out and average these numbers in, where would that zone be? Again, we see some deep choppy chop chop into it. Okay. Now let's talk about the deep choppy chop chop for a second, okay, which is right here. I'm on a five-minute chart. I will zoom down to a smaller one-minute chart to make sure that that zone is holding. Okay, if it's holding, then that's where you can feel safe to buy it. On the five minute chart, it's a little bit thick. So on the smaller chart, it's where you see the details of it moving, dancing, going sideways, and unable to make any more move to the downside. Okay, because we want to catch that long to have this pop. Okay, so I'm going to go to the one minute chart. and here, can you see that running in place situation, choppy, chop, chop, sideways stuff, right in that 1778 zone, it went a little lower, 1775, but this is a lot of, uh, you know, choppy, chop, chop. Now, it retests this low over here. See how it retests the low here? When this thing retested the low here, it came down with what? Is that a deep or a shallow point C? It's a deep point C, right? This drop here is a retest of that low. It's not going to go that much lower. This is a very good sign that this, let's say you bought over here. This is a retest. You're breaking even or, you know, up a tick only. Wow, should you just grab it? Or is this going to run away from you to the downside? If it's off of a deep point C, chances are it won't run away from you. By the way, zooming out to the bigger charts, those bigger charts are holding that zone in place. All right, let's, let's take a look at some other markets, okay? So keep in mind that what we're doing here is looking at the bigger chart for the zone, for the bias, and then zooming in to actually get in when the rubber hits the road right here at about half an hour before the, after the open. So I'm going to zoom out again, five-minute chart, okay? And I'm going to zoom out even further to the 15-minute chart, and that's what we have. That zone there, 1778, give us change. Uh, will give or take is, is a pullback after a series of strong up move, shallow, shallow, okay? So this upward move, this is not going to drop too far before new highs are to be made. And just to let you know, um, you know, two high, new highs were made um, the next few days here. Okay, uh, let's talk about crude oil, my favorite market. Okay, let's talk about Thursday. Let's talk about Thursday real quick here. Thursday had a big bounce in crude oil, okay? It is bouncing off of, I'm just going to draw them in for you guys, okay? Is that deep or shallow? We're going to look at that in, a, in, a, in details, okay? This is straight out of my, my book. Chapter five, right? For those guys, you guys who have my book. 
Okay, how are these? I'm just going to take the first several here. Okay, how deep are those retracements? Well, let's just take a close-up look. You can eyeball it, and you can see that the retracements are way more than 50%, right? If it's closer to, look at this guy, okay, 78%. These are all very deep, deep and deep. Well, having those retracements pulling that way down here is going to give you a situation where you can use, that's right, extensions. And I like to use the 461s. And this is the 15-minute chart, right? So you can see that um, this zone here gives you an area that a reversal will happen. Now, if you miss the low here, I'm on the 15 again, you can see that this upward move, you can catch still part of this upward move, if you will, okay? Because if it's coming off strong while dropping from weakness deep, deep, and deep, then there's still a lot more move to the upside, okay? Let me go over things real quick here again. Um, is that a deep or shallow retracement here, okay? This is a deep retracement here, okay? So I'm just putting this real quick here. Okay, there's some 461s hanging around here. Some of them are not as pretty as others, okay? But let's talk about this upward move here in a second. If you miss that low there, can you still catch this upward move coming off that low? I'm going to go to the five-minute chart from the 15. I'm zooming down to the five. And, okay, here's that. Here's those, uh, the drop here. You say you missed the low here. And you're moving up. And now if I can't see on the five-minute chart, I'm going to go to, let's say, a three-minute chart. Nothing, there's nothing sacred about a two- or one-minute chart. It's just that I want to see more details. Here is a three-minute chart. What am I looking for? Here's what I'm looking for, okay? I missed this low over here. It's going up. But look at this pullback right there. How deep is that pullback? Because if it goes shallow there, then it's going to make another move to the upside, right? So if that retracement is shallow, what's shallow? Less than 50%. And then it makes a new high right here. Well, guess what? It's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. Your stop is below here. Your buy is here. So see, so you, this is a secondary entry. The primary entry is over here. Okay. Oh wait, there's more. Let me show you a couple of more. There's a lot of these trades showing up this week. If you have the patience for it, let me go to. Uh, I'll go to the ten minute chart. Okay. Now, see this drop right here. This is a uh, Wednesday, and and follow through this drop. What what was the uh, what was the reason for this double top situation over there? Why did it drop? Now, the high there, it was no accident that it dropped from that high, okay? Because it was off of all these deep retracements that we pulled back up over there for the drop. I'm on the 10-minute chart, and I'm going to, once again, the, the, to me, this is the magic uh, bullet, the, uh, the 461 extension, especially off of deeps, okay? If you do nothing except sit around and watch for this pattern over here, you're going to have some good, uh, some good moves. So this was a weak uptrend because it's coming off of deeps. But if this thing somehow accelerates in the middle of the up move and it starts moving all the way up, the limit as to how far it'll go will be the 461s. So you see a bunch of 461s here in this zone. Now, you got, how, how do I know what to do? Do I take an extra one or two? Well, you don't need to do that. You would take the 10-minute chart and zoom down to, let's say, a 5- or 1-minute chart and see what these last piece coming in is, okay? From, on this chart, you can see it over here coming down with a shallow retracement, right? Follow through. Off, off of here, it came off with a deep retracement. Not, then it's not going down yet. It's going to take one more swipe to the, to the zone, okay? Let me go to the 5-minute chart and show you that, that first. See this? I mean, there's other things involved, but 
if I have it come down over here and I have a, oh, a deep retracement over here, okay, this may go back and retest that high. But if I come off of this high here, I'm on a five minute, okay, with a shallow retracement, actually you can go in short right around there. Then there should be follow through to the downside. There's a little retest. Okay, there's a little bump here, but in the end, it's going to go right down. So this is the pattern that we're talking about. You can use it as a standalone pattern, or you can combine that with other things. Now, strangely enough, this pattern also works on the one minute chart. That's right, one minute chart. You say, are you crazy? Well, I'm not saying if you're fast enough to catch it, you can do it. Let's take a look at the one minute chart. This is yesterday on the crude oil, okay? Let's talk about this move over here, right here. What is that move all about? Well, let's take a close up look because it has a big bounce there right near the open, okay? That move there in red, see that? I'm on a one minute chart. Should you trade a one minute chart? That's not the point. The point is that these patterns are found on all different time intervals, okay? So I'm gonna draw these patterns in again. Is that a deep retracement right here? Yes, now those are like 80%, right? There's another one in here. I'm gonna open it up for you guys to see in a second. I'm not saying you must trade the one. I'm not, that's not the point. The point is that all of these patterns are found. Again, the more 461s you have to average, the stronger the pattern. Now, again, these things should be deep. Why? Because this bounce would be a ferocious bounce if you see them deep, all right? So these are all retracements there. I'm gonna erase them so you can see it, okay? So these are all the deeps. Let me just get rid of all the red lines, okay? See that? Deep, this is coming down, but it's deep, 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 and deep. All right, here we go. Now this was screaming down on the one minute chart, right at near the right at the open. But as it screamed down, it came into a barrage of 461, four of them. If you take the average of these 461s, what would you get? Somewhere around here. Look at this. This is coming down strong, but it bounced like a rubber ball. It bounced way up there. Now, coming off the highs here, what do we have? Lower highs, lower lows. That's a downtrend, right, on the one-minute chart. Hang on. How, how deep is that retracement right there as we turn the corner right there? Is that deep? That looks like it's less than 50%. Guess what? Down go. So these are the things that we're this, – this, this is the pattern, my favorite. Deep, 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 stretching out to the 461s for a long. Now, did I catch this one? No. I was fumbling with the go chart. This came very quickly. But if I were in front of it, and this thing happened to be on a three-minute or a five-minute chart, then that would be a very, very good situation to have, coming off of deeps, right? Okay, so with this type of situation, you can sit tight and look for these patterns. How effective are these patterns? About 80, 85% accurate once you have them lined up as so. Even though it's coming down, screaming down, it turned just as quickly. You can find them on the... You know, I, I show you this on a 10-minute chart with a high that lasts overnight. This move here lasted, what, 10, 12 minutes. But you have a huge move, like an eight, $900 move in almost a dollar, right? Not quite a dollar, from 80 up to like 70 cents, 700 bucks. And this low here, you can catch it within three or four or five cents, two cents maybe. It moves up 70 cents. Okay, so this is the, what we have to do to offer. These patterns are very powerful. You get to know all the rules of these patterns, okay? So <clears throat> I call this superstructure trading. We use a lot of structures in, in this type of trading, okay? That's the main structure. I wrote an ebook. This ebook is very, very powerful because it has all the tools and the, and the details that I disclose, okay? You learn this entire thing completely. I just shown you a bulk of it, but there's a lot of nuances involved that is needed. Okay, here are the chapters. We talk about the measure move briefly over here, the basic foundation. Okay, how to handle the double top and bottom. 
Now, the important thing is after two, the structures working together. I've shown you how you can have multiple structures working together to give you a zone off of deeps, hopefully, if you want to pick highs and lows. And apply the Fibonacci ratios, especially the extreme 461s, to pick a high or a low safely. Okay, the extensions, a more powerful way. Okay, Chapter 4 has all the things put together, including the Fibonacci combinations. Again, weakening of trend strength. I showed you some of it already. Okay, stacking on support. How to enter the trade. How to manage the trade. Now, the the three case studies that I have here is similar to what I just showed you today in in details. And finally, there are partial patterns. These are not quite as good. These are you know lower percentage winning trades, but they still would work with a lot of confirmation, counter trend trading. Okay, so these are the two measure move strategies. Now, people might ask, how much is this? for this entire methodology. Well, students have actually paid me over $5,000 to learn it, okay? As a mentoring student, I would be charging $500 an hour to talk to, me on the, talk to you on the phone, and it'll take between two and four hours to learn it, which means it'll be about one to $2,000 just to, just to learn this, uh, the rules. Now, what if I were to charge you less than an hour of my time to learn this system? That would be a great offer, wouldn't it be? Now, I priced it as 270, 297, which is a good bargain. But I basically decided to knock a full $200 off, making this entire system just $97. Okay, this $97 is a fantastic bargain. You have a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. Okay, I make most of my profits trading, as you can see from those extensions. But here's one more good news. For a limited time only, if you learn best visually, I throw in what I call the video companion. All six chapters are in video format. You can download in the member section, and you can watch each chapter over and over again for free. Okay? It has all six chapters, like I said, broken down in video format form with additional visuals to clarify all the key points. $197 value for free. So you have the two, six, the two books of the two products, the book and the video companion, $494 value for free, uh, for only $97, okay? The video companion is free. So I'm so confident they'll change the way you trade for good that you get my 60-day money-back guarantee, okay? So again, these two, if you want to order it, if you don't have it yet, superstructuretraining.com slash ebook. Now, if you have the ebook already and you want to take it to the next level, I'm going to actually give you a fish, meaning I can teach you how to, how to trade, or I can actually give you the trades. I personally conduct three live educational webinars a week, 12 per month. These webinars are going to, uh, they're going to help you learn from watching these patterns over and over again. You can ask personal questions at these webinars. And what I'm going to do also is I'm going to add in the Skype calls for free. Every morning, I turn on the, the, the Skype and I can actually talk to you guys and say, here are my buys and short and, and sales. It's coming up. I give you these trades in advance. Okay? So you, you can be prepared to see how they, how they work. You can learn quicker by having me call out these trades. But here's one thing that I'm going to give you throwing that's even a better bonus. Remember those early morning charts these early morning charts on the E-mini S&P that I showed you earlier, the before shots, okay, I have students who are subscribing at $400 a month. I will throw them in for free. So if you sign up just today for these continuing educational system, uh, this, this, this level of education, you will get both the educational webinars three times a week, 12 times a month. These are recorded webinars you can watch in the member section. For only two hundred forty-seven dollars value, uh, two hundred forty-seven dollars a month, the value is a lot higher than that. You get the Skype calls along with educational webinars. If you're day trading, you look at the S and P, the crude oil, and the gold. It's a fantastic way to follow the market as it's unfolding, and you hear me talk live on the air, calling out these patterns. Plus, you get the E mini S and P charts for free every morning. You get a series of charts, so you can see where the zones are, and I'll talk about how they 
on how the patterns unfold as the market trades into them for adjustments, okay? So the bottom line is you get three educational webinars a week, 12 per month for only 247. The free bonus is this live Skype instant message call. It's not instant message. I actually say it out verbally, but I also type it in as well. It's limited to only 15 people. We're getting very, very close. And you, you can sign up at superstructuretraining.org slash webinar slash sales page. If you have any questions, you can email me personally. Okay? So if you don't have the ebook yet, get the ebook. If you have the ebook, I suggest you sign up for this for to learn at a higher level. You can cancel any time you want. Just one trade a month will pay for the 247. Okay. So again, the ebook. It's only $97, superstructuretraining.com slash ebook. And I give you a lot of support. You can email me how these patterns work and what a high quality pattern is or a low quality pattern. Okay. Or if you want to get even at a higher level, including the early morning Skype charts, which is actually three things in one. You get to learn at the webinars. You get to have the Skype uh, instant message. It's almost like a trading room, but we're going to do a trading room later, maybe next next year. And it'll be a lot higher than 247 a month. Okay, so this is what I have to present. These are the offers. And let me go back and ask, answer any questions if you have, if you guys have any uh, any questions. So I'm showing you this week's chart, trades and what these good patterns look like, which is what I like to jump in on. Okay, Daniel says, do you ever use the first wave off the top to measure the move? <clears throat> uh, the first wave off a higher top to measure the move. Well, I look at the first move to see how deep or how shallow, okay? And if it's deep and shallow, usually you're going to start off with deep and you get shallower and shallower in the sweet spot or the middle part of the move, and then you go deeper and deeper, Daniel, to get slower and slower. So I do use the first wave. I look at how deep is point C. I project to see where my 261 and 461s are in terms of potential profit zone. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Ephraim says, can how does your ebook and one CD compare with your earlier course covered in five CDs? Is the former complete treatment of the course or is there something left out? <laughs> well, uh, the other one is a lot more uh, details that are uh, that may be, I was told, too much information. That those are four and a half hours of stuff, and you get a lot of tools in there. I threw everything in. What we have here is more of a streamlined approach to trading versus without all of the uh, curious information that I like but may not be needed for application. Okay, So it's a lot more streamlined into what you need only. Okay, so it's a lot more, um, you know, uh, applicable to day trading, especially if you're doing it quickly. I like your email follow-up. Yeah, I do. If you have any questions, just just uh, let me know. And if I'm not overwhelmed with it, I will answer you back. This is a very powerful system. Thanks for sharing, as I said. You're welcome. <laughs> is there a trading room? Gary, this is not quite a trading room yet. I'm not fully uh, uh, set up. My, my tech guy haven't set it up yet. But this is almost like a trading room in that you'll hear me talk out loud. You should have a, a, a chart yourself to follow through. I'll say I'm, I'm on a one-minute chart, and here's my buy at you know 92.43, maybe 92.45. So you can hear me saying that. I'll call out the 461s off of deeps and all that. So you can, you can follow along with that, along with my uh, $400 a month charting service okay Mariano says how do you handle ABC pullback in some sense it would be like a failed ABCD but you're left wondering which way the trend is gonna go what do you take on that how do you handle ABC pullback well the pullback is part and partial to a bigger pattern I don't look at a, a, a pattern only I want to see is this pattern on a five minute or the one minute if it's on a one minute what is there backing it up on the five and ten minute in other words what is this part part and partial of is it part of a bullish environment or a bearish environment? Okay, because again, the larger chart sets the environment, Mariano. 
can you handle your daily service with only one contract? Yes. <clears throat> yes. I have a lot of students. I, in, I, in fact, insist on just using one contract to begin with. How does this work with Forex? Very well. I have a student named Sunny who trades only the Forex. She started with $4,000 a year two and a half years ago. Now she's at 180000 last time I talked to her, which is about two months ago. I'm sure it's a lot higher than that. She trades only the Forex, and she trades a larger pattern on the 15 and 30-minute chart that will last one or two days. Sometimes it'll be like a day trade, but it'll be like four hours in a trade. And she does all of the Forex markets, and she stays up around the clock watching for these patterns to develop. Very, so she does very well with it. I don't do this but, but uh, because I don't want to be up all night long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I said, I'll buy your ebook very soon. Yeah, yeah, it's a good, it's a good product to have everything spelled out. Okay, Fred says, hey, Fred, uh, uh, how about current members? Can I also get your, yes, you can. Yes, you can. I'll, I'll send that to you, Fred. Okay. Uh, I like your approach. Okay, thank you. Okay. So this is what we have. Okay. <clears throat> so again, sign up. If you want them, let me know. Let me, let me stop my recording here.